So this is my attempt at a self-water pumping wheel I've seen on YouTube and another site. And it's my attempt at seeing how it performs. Uh, there wasn't much details given on any any websites I could find about it, so I decided to build my own. It utilizes uh, ladles with the top tank of water pouring in, and I added this control valve so I could regulate the amount of flow. That goes into the tank, which in turn is pumped by a spiral pump. I used a clear PVC vinyl tubing to be able to see how the water worked and where if any problems were happening I could see it. Uh, I had some problems the other day that this is a uh, quick connect fitting so it can rotate freely you know, without a lot of friction on it. I have it on both sides. The problem I had was that uh, this would lose compression but I just swapped fittings and now it doesn't leak at all. And the also the addition that's a must for this to perform slightly well is having this scoop on it for the air to compress and go up the tube. It only runs for about two minutes all by itself with this tank. And uh, by a very bad measurement, I'm guessing that this runs at around one third horsepower. Um, gauge that I have a one third horsepower motor. And uh, that one, it, this one actually is harder to stop than that motor. Um, my second idea is to add another version of this on the other side. Um, this produces plenty amount of torque to be able to spin two of them. This weighs hardly anything, even with the water in it. Uh, which was my goal of using ABS plastic to support everything in this clear tubing. Because it's very, very lightweight, very easy to spin. And I can even turn this thing on to where it drips and it'll spin it up. Uh, so I'm thinking possibly with two, two sets of tubing, might get something interesting to happen. This is a top tank where the hose empties into. And I just use silicone. Uh, to fill up the gap so the box won't leak. And after a few tests, determined that uh, this is terribly inefficient of use. Uh, this pumps out about two and a half gallons of water from this box. This pumps in about half a quart of water for all the water that's emptied out of here and pumped through here. I like the way this pumps. It's great for rivers and streams. Um, the compression is pretty decent, especially if you have the hose going horizontally on the ground. It works really well. Pretty cool pump, but it is certainly not perpetual motion by any means.